in this session we are going to show you how to use a running values in SSRS report so basically what do you mean for the running values running values is something like that if you are working for a inventory project where some products are coming and going from the inventory on the daily basis so so we need to capture the total balance current balance with the help of this running value function in SSRS so in this uh, video we are going to show you how to use the running value total in SSRS report so basically if you, you can use this function if you are making record for your account for your inventory or any uh, in out functionality scenarios so what we are going to do here we are using this data to show off running values or running balance in SSRS so in this uh, data you can see here we have a inventory date product name quantity and mode of the product is coming or out from the inventory so we are just and uh, we have the, a dummy report in our report builder and we call this report as a inventory running values report so basically what we are going to do here we are going to copy this uh, query into our report builder environment or in our sql data tools so in the data set we are going to add a new data set called uh, this data set as a ts inventory okay and um, we are using embedded data set in my report and we have already a data source to connect with our data base so i am just copy paste the copied script here and in the field section you can see here we have all the fields now we have the data set now we need to add a tablix report here table report so we have the table report after adding the table report we need to set the data set for this table so in the data set property we are going to use ds inventory now just add the inventory date product mode and add one more column each quantity okay now we have all the stuff in our report and just do some little formatting in our report here and we are bold okay now preview of the report now now you can see here we have the inventory data and the mode of the inventory also so we are going to add one more column here here right call it a running balance okay now preview of the report now you can see here uh, we have inventory date product mode of the product and quantity we need to add running total so just just go to the expression of the text box and in common function in the aggregate section you can see there there are each running value function so what does mean of running value a running value is nothing uh, it is something like that it returns a running aggregate of all non-null numeric values specified by the expression and evaluated for the given expression now you can see here there is a field there is expression there is a type of 
the aggregation and group uh, of the if there is group aggregation required so we are using this function here and just use the go to the data set and we are using quantity as the expression and we are using sum sum is the aggregation and we in our report there is no group so so we are passing nothing here okay and click on okay button now you can see in the report there is a running total but uh, we need to capture in and out functionality in our report so we are going to do uh, some intelligence expression in running balance in our report so in the design mode we are going to show you how to use a dynamic expression so we are using if if function if now we have the mode of the inventory now we are using mode if mode equal to in then we are using sum of the quantity otherwise we are using negative quantity so for this we are going to multiply this quantity into minus 1 so uh, you can see in the expression what we are going to do here we have checked the mode of the inventory it if it is coming then sum up if it subtract from the aggregation so click on ok and just preview of the report now you can see here in the first row uh, you can see that uh, uh, inventory is coming so running balance is 200 in the second row invent 100 items is going out from the inventory so 200 minus 100 equal to 100 in the third row you can see that uh, 100 150 items is coming to the inventory so it is 100 plus 150 equal to 250 in the fourth row you can see 210 items also coming so running total is 460 then two items uh, two rows is showing items is going out from the inventory so 460 minus 300 equal to 160 then minus 50 again then 110 so you can see that how to use the running total in our report we are going to show you how to use running total with the group specified so we are using just copy two records here and add a group is laptop xp desktop so, so what we are going to do in our data we are getting another product that is xp group okay now what we are going to do here we are changing the mode as in and output mode as 150 is the output mode in our reports just copy these two this query again and go to the dataset property ds inventory and in the query section just delete the old query and paste the new query here okay now preview of the report now you can see here we have the items so for this we're going to do here we are creating a group here into the report as a parent group and group on the product 
and we are not using any header or any footer to the group now you can see here we have the products but there is nothing going to be changed to the running values so it should be start from 200 it should be finished after 150 so what we are going to do here in the S we are going to change the nothing as a product product is the group name which we have added just before now click on the preview here now you can see there that uh, every product has a different running balance and they are not mixed up with each other they are separate on the report so for the most most uh, understanding we are deleting this column from the report delete column only and preview of the report now you can see here this is the group wise uh, running total so it is very easy to maintain on the report i hope you are going to use uh, this demo for the practice please subscribe my channel on youtube